Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Certainly. Sphinx is a powerful documentation generator for Python projects. It converts restructured text, REST, files into various output formats, including HTML and PDF. Sphinx is widely used for creating project documentation, and it comes with a lot of features to help you create structured and well-organized documentation. Introduction to Sphinx What is Sphinx? Sphinx is a tool that helps you create intelligent and beautiful documentation for Python projects. It supports various output formats like HTML, Latex, for PDF, EPUB, and more. It allows you to write documentation in restructured text, REST, format, which is a lightweight markup language. Why use Sphinx? Easy to use, simple commands to generate documentation. Extensible, you can add extensions for additional functionality. Theming, use themes to customize the appearance of your documentation. Cross-referencing, easily link modules, classes, and functions in your documentation. Installation. To get started with Sphinx, you need to have Python and Pip installed. If you haven't installed Sphinx yet, you can do so using Pip. Creating a documentation project. 1. Create a directory for your documentation. Create a new directory where you want your documentation to reside. 2. Run Sphinx Quick Start. This command will guide you through the process of setting up your documentation structure. You will be prompted to answer several questions regarding your project. After completing this step, a directory structure will be created, containing necessary files. 3. Directory Structure After running Sphinx Quick Start, you'll notice several files and folders. CONFPY, Configuration File for Sphinx Index.rst, the main documentation file, entry point Underscore Build, directory where the generated documentation will be stored Writing Documentation 1. Edit the index.rst file. Open the index.rst file in a text editor and modify it. Here's an example structure. 2. Creating additional documentation files. You can create additional .rst files, example module 1.rst, module 2.rst, for different sections of your documentation. Here's an example of what module 1.rst could look like. Building documentation. To generate HTML documentation, run the following command inside your documentation directory. This will create an HTML version of your documentation in the underscore build slash HTML directory. Viewing the documentation. Navigate to the underscore build slash HTML directory and open index.html in a web browser to view your documentation. Example of using Sphinx with doc strings. You can also generate documentation directly from your Python code using Sphinx. For this, you need to use the Sphinx.ext Autodoc extension. 1. Enable Autodoc. Open the CONFPy file and add Sphinx.ext Autodoc to the extensions list. 2. Documenting Python code. Create a Python module, example my underscore module.py, with doc strings. 3. Reference the module in your .rst file. In your module1.rst, you can use Autodoc to include the function's documentation. Building and viewing again. After making these changes, run make HTML again and check the generated documentation. It should now include the information from your Python module. Conclusion Sphinx is an extremely powerful tool for generating documentation for Python projects. With its extensibility and support for doc strings, you can create comprehensive and well-structured documentation easily.
Whether you're documenting a small script or a large library, Sphinx can help you keep everything organized and accessible. Additional resources Sphinx documentation https colon slash slash www.sbhinx-doc.org slash n slash master restructured text markup https colon slash slash docutils.sourceforge.io slash rst.html sphinx extensions https colon slash slash www.sbhinx-doc.org slash n slash master slash usage slash extension slash index dot html feel free to ask if you have further questions or need assistance with specific aspects of sphinx